Oh shit, who is that? Oh shit, who is that? Wait, somebody died? Even though they didn't show up on the channel? Oh shit, you see, this is why we should tell shit to the police. Because we don't know what's going on. God damn it! Ah, uh, now somebody died because our stupid asses didn't bother to tell the police. Now, he might have died anyways, we don't know. But he definitely would have had a better chance of not dying if we had told them. I would think. Anyways, you can hear signs of the distance. Something happened? Cell phone's ringing. It's from Chie. Ooh, nice. At least it's Chie. Well, she's probably going to be talking about random crap. D did you hear yet? I saw in the cutscene. They found a dead body just outside the shopping district. Here's a crazy thought. What if it wasn't from the channel? Then again, the positioning. I don't get it. I mean, we... Here's a crazy thought. The killer's doing what he, do what he does for fun, because he enjoys it. Um, and then he's like, oh, you keep getting in my fucking way. Let me just kill him traditionally. He hanged him like that, because he, he does like hang them like that. But, you know, he can just do whatever he wants, really. He probably has a real-world, like, human, uh, form. Uh, that's one option. The other option is maybe there's, uh, Mid Midnight Channel doesn't show everything. Like, who, who knows? You know, help, help us get it if we talk to the police! Eh. I suppose I don't have a choice for some more dumb talk that it involves not talking to the police, but whatever. She hung up. Love you, Chia. Alright, uh, you're sure that you rescued Risa? It would be best if you heard of June. June? <laughs> Juness. What if it is June and I'm pretending Juness all along? No! They've said Juness, never mind. I'm doubting myself. Hey! Over here! For no reason! All right, what's up? And where is Yosuke? Yosuke went over to check out the scene. He should be back soon. For a second, I thought, what if Yosuke's dead? <laughs> uh. There he is. Yeah, it was murder, all right. You know what might have helped us with it? You know what? Whatever. The body was hanging upside down on an apartment's rooftop railing. That is the M.O. But how could that... That's not all. The victim this time. What? It was King Moron. Oh shit! King Moron? Moroka? Oh shit! I didn't see that coming at all. I thought it might have been someone we knew, but I didn't realize that that's who it was. Oh, they actually took somebody that we've known since pretty much the beginning of the game and killed him. That, I didn't expect that. Could more random characters we know die? Maybe. Guess we're not social linking with King Moron, huh? Well, wow, I guess we lost one of our teachers. He was a really good teacher, too. I mean, he was a terrible person, but a really good teacher. He's the only teacher we've ever had that we could get knowledge points just from listening to his lectures and not having to do things. Really, you're gonna call him King Moron at a time like this? He can't use his real name, at least now, in death. You mean that King Moron? Senpai's homeroom teacher? Yep. W why Maybe because the real killer got tired of us forwarding his plan, so he's like, fuck it, I won't show it on the Midnight Channel. I mean, we don't know quite how it works yet, but... That's the whole point, we don't know how it works. We ain't know how it works. We can't just assume that we see patterns and like, oh, this is all there is to it, and then shit like this is gonna happen, but... I am glad that this happened. I mean, you know, whether or not, I mean, King Moran's not one of my favorite characters, but I'm glad that we're seeing a deviation from the norm. It's not just going to be going with the motions anymore, which I'm glad about. Um, because, you know, I was getting a bit sick of that. What on earth is going on here? How am I supposed to know? But I talked to a guy there who saw it. And? It's true. There's no mistake. You gotta be shitting me. Ain't the killer targeting people who get shown on TV? That's just our assumption. I ain't never seen King Moron on the Midnight Channel or any other programs. That's why we can't just be making assumptions. Why? Why did this happen? I thought we finally figured some things out. Were they all just a big coincidence? Maybe the Midnight Channel doesn't have anything to do with this. I doubt that. It probably has something to do with it. Damn it. 
We came so far, and now we're back to square one. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Were we in over our heads, trying to catch a culprit that even the police couldn't find? Here's a crazy idea. I'm sorry, he brought it up. I have to bring it up. How about you help the police catch it? Work together or some shit? Is that so... Oh my gosh. Even the police couldn't find. You know why they couldn't find him? They didn't know all the shit you know! Ah. It's too early to give up. We have to move on. Let's leave it to the... How about we tell the police? You know what? They're giving me this option. I'm gonna take it. Fuck it. But I want the... Ugh. I know that's not the direction they're gonna go and I'm gonna get si derailed and somebody's gonna... You know what? No. Give me a reason. Give me a reason why this is legitimately a bad idea. Huh? What are you talking about? What am I talking about? What are you talking about? We started this thing because the police can't tell their asses from their elbows. What the hell are you talking about? The police can't tell their asses from their elbow. Are you crazy? My freaking uncle is a police officer. Are you talking about him? Sure, we know that one dunce police officer. That doesn't mean he represents the whole fucking force. And you know what else? They don't know all the shit we know. Don't act like they do. You, you, don't be like, oh, they're useless. They couldn't figure this out. Because you have all the clues already. So you can't go like, oh, they couldn't figure. Maybe if they, they knew certain things and then they still couldn't figure out that we did it different. We haven't told them anything. We should be fucking telling you- Okay, I know I've went on this rant before. I can't help it though. Every fucking time. We give up now, and that shithead's gonna be on the loose forever. How about we tell the police this shit then? Don't like fucking bald dick ass dick. Ugh. This ain't the time for bitching and moaning. We just gotta keep on keeping on. I'll bitch and moan as long as you guys keep doing this stupid bullshit about not telling the police. Okay? Or until you give a legitimate reason why telling them is a bad idea. Like, maybe the detective kid will actually tell us, Oh, I have a theory that the bad guy is working with the police. At least if we get that, then I'll be like, Okay, fine, then you have a reason. D like, something, because this is driving me crazy every time. Kanji-kun. Huh. Big talk from someone like you, Kanji. What? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, I know. I love the wording on that line just now, actually. What's that supposed to mean? And it was like, all one word. We're dealing with a murderer here, but we've all risked our lives to get this far. Uh-huh. No way we'll back down. Yup. And we promised the bear, too. Uh-huh. Hey, that's right! Maybe Teddy knows something about this! I guess that's worth talking to him about. Well, since moping around won't do us any good, let's go see him. Oh, cool. Huh? There's staff here? So we've just been going to, like, this every time. We really need to buy this freaking TV. Because you know problems like this are going to show up eventually. What if somebody attempts to buy that TV? That would be crazy. They should do that. Somebody buy the TV and then it'll be like, Oh no, they're buying our TV! Now that's unusual. Hi there. Did something happen? Maybe somebody's going to buy the TV. Yosuke-kun. Great timing. Did the manager tell you anything about this? Anything about what? There's been this weird mascot around our department for quite a while now. Oh shit, he came out of the TV? What? Is there some kind of campaign on today? Mascot? Teddy. He said his name was, uh, what was it? Terry? Eddie? Teddy. Well, there are no customers around, so I guess it's fine. I better get back to my station. Please don't tell me. That's what it is. Whoa! He's here! Yep, yep. Ah, this really hits the spot. Now that is weird. So you can just come into the room. That's funky. What does that mean? What are you? What are you, Teddy? What are you? What the? I mean, how'd you? It took you guys long enough. I've been waiting. Teddy, are you okay on this side? How did you even leave your side? Well, 
he probably... That's a good question, but I mean, if we can get in through this side, I guess it's, there's some semblance of sense that he can come out. And he knows how to take us out anyways, right? Of course I can come out! There's an exit! <laughs> the same exit we all use, but you never use it for some reason until now. Feeling adventurous? Because you're like, you're a new, renewed self? It just never occurred to me to do it before. I see. But spending time with you all sparked my curiosity about this world. And now you've discovered the glorious Masha's chair. I did wonder if it was a good idea, but my feet started moving before I could decide. Indeed. And when I thought about it, I had nowhere to go. And it was a waste to go back. So I waited here for you. Well, okay. Maybe we can actually talk about a plan like moving the TV somewhere else, more convenient. Like buying it, maybe. You know, building up money, but no, we couldn't do that. It, it would be a better idea, though. Oh, someone asked for my name, so I told them, I'm Teddy. Oh, God. Well, at least it's good to be consistent. So that's why. There's something we need to ask you. How long have you been here, Teddy? Did anyone enter the other world? I stayed until the fog settled in on my side, but no one came. Oh, maybe. Maybe he's like an unknowing guardian by leaving the world that he let that happen? Maybe. Possibly. You're positive. You really didn't sense a single person. Oh, are we gonna have to go back in the TV to, like, investigate Morooka's room, you know, his, his dead room, just like how we had a dead place for the other two girls? That would probably make sense. That'd be interesting. I just said that I didn't. I was there all by myself, like always. <laughs> and your nose wasn't clogged or anything? Aren't you listening? I was utterly, totally, and 100% alone! That's why I came over here! Indeed. But I can understand if you don't believe me. My senses aren't that good lately anyways. Oh, really? I wonder what that means. Um, I believe you. Oh, Sensei's heart is radiating pure kindness. Is he gonna get a jingle from that? Well, it's true that the Midnight Channel was blank last night. But maybe that's somehow related to Teddy. And even before that, Teddy says he didn't sense anything, right? Maybe there's another channel, or there's another something, or there's another who knows, or maybe it just happened in real life. Does that mean King Moron was never on that side? I'd say there's a good chance he was, but maybe not. Going on. You know how we could check? King Moroka should have a place on that side now, right? If he was on that side, right? Hey, hey, I wanna go somewhere! Oh god. Huh? Now ain't the time, dude. You seriously don't plan on going back, do you? Where do you wanna go anyway? I wanna give this to Risei Chan! It's for her! You mean the goofy glasses? You received glasses from Teddy. Teddy. Teddy? <laughs> Risei-chan will probably back us up from now on. Yeah, because, you know, she fucking knows about it because we told her about it. You know, maybe we should tell more people about it. Maybe we should tell even people in power about it. Maybe. You know what? You know what? Just... So I'm gonna fight alongside you with everything I got. So you're gonna be a real party member, though. Like, that, that would be cool. Don't think of me as the same cute little Teddy. Oh boy. I'm an all new model. I have a powerful attack, an unbeatable defense, and a winning smile. An unbeatable defense? Really? We'll see about that. That would make you a bit too OP. Today begins the new Legend of Teddy! The Legend of Teddy! Sounds way better than Legend of Kara. Wow, a new legend. As if there was an old legend? Teddy has joined the group as a frontline fighter. Oh shit, he's just in my party now? He'll definitely be strong and set to you in your battles and shadows. Cool. Ooh, investigation team. Alright, cool. Wait a second. If I get one when I form it with Yosuke and two with Chie, three with Yukiko, four with Kanji, five with Teddy, 
if I got six with Rise, if I do even go that far, and seven with the other guy, then how do I get to ten? That will be curious and curious. Maybe I will eventually join with the police at the very end of the fucking game or something. I'm sure Ryotaro is going to find out eventually. I mean, he's got to. It's just, will it be sooner or later? Hopefully sooner, because the longer he doesn't, the more we'll be like, fuck! That's easy to social link has reached level 5. How do you keep of the fool has grown? Uh oh, people are starting to stare. Keep it down, will you, Ted? <laughs> oh god, Ted? Come on, let's go somewhere else. Okay, just to make sure, I'm gonna ask you one last time. Uh huh. Nobody was over there except for you until the fog came back, correct? It's so funny seeing Teddy here like this. I mean, we see him in the other world all the time. I don't know if he quite looks like this in the other world, but in this world, I don't know if it's because the sprites are different, but he just looks so out of place, it's funny. That's what I've been saying. He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel either. What's up with that? No clue. But I think we can be sure now that King Moron was never thrown into the TV. Oh, really? Then what? He was killed over here? Then we really should leave it to the police if that's the case. I mean... Uh, I mean, we should give it to the police anyways, but, um, like, the police can probably handle that without knowing stuff in that case. Why not throw him into a TV like all the rest? I don't know, because throwing people into the TV isn't exactly the normal thing to do. People kill people without throwing them into the TV, uh, all the time, you know. They couldn't throw him in. They never intended to. I don't know. They couldn't throw him in. They never intended to. Can only one person be in the TV at a time, maybe? No, that's not true. They never intended to. They never intended to? Yeah, that's right. I'm a master detective. So you're saying he wasn't like the other victims to begin with? But why? Maybe the culprit thought he couldn't kill any more people by throwing them into TVs. Because he saw that, you know, people were not getting killed. I mean, we prevented his last three attempts in a row. Oh yeah, give us, give ourselves pats in the back. Just, I mean, we managed to fail as far as um, people getting kidnapped, but we at least saved them. Oh, I get you. That could be it. So now what? So they snuffed someone on our side this time to make sure it worked. If that's the case, like, the problem with that theory is why go all of the trouble throwing them in the TV in the first place? I guess the idea is maybe they had fun with it. Maybe they have fun snuffing them in that, in that way. But when it's not working at all, well, you, maybe you get off on killing also, so you just kill however you can. Like, you specifically, maybe he gets off on that kind of killing. But then when he can't do it at all, like, he needs some form of killing. Maybe it's like a drug, like, okay, I can't do it the way I want, but I have to kill somebody. So, maybe that's it. Um, in that case, we're in a pretty bad position. Damn it. If that's true, then we have no way of preventing more murders unless we catch the killer. We need more clues. I wonder if Rise-chan's up and around yet. Yeah. We'll have to put our hopes on her. Or maybe the plur <sighs> It's so hot out. Oh, not used to human temperatures? I'm taking this off. Wait, taking what off? Wait, you're not talking about your head, are you? Cut it out! There's kids watching! So what, your head is like... Oh, oh, you want to let some... Wait, that's weird. Although I guess it would make sense. Maybe all the cold is stored inside and you're gonna let some cold out, I suppose? That's weird. Jeez, they'll be scarred for life if they see an empty mascot walking around. And a little consideration, man. But then again, some little little kids think there's uh, think the mascots are just mascots. Still though, taking the head off would be pretty pretty weird, especially if there's no one inside. 
I'm glad you're back to normal, though. Your fur's all fuzzy again. <laughs> oh, all right. Can I? Can I feel it? You know, I was gonna make a joke about how um, Teddy is. You know, oh, he's Yukiko's little teddy bear, but I guess Kanji wants some Teddy too. <laughs> no. <laughs> Only Yukiko and she ain't right. Actually, I'm no longer a hollow bear. <laughs> Wait, what? I trained and trained, hoping to someday score with Chie Chan and Yuki Chan, and now I finally have an inside. <laughs> what? Okay, I mean that's funny and all, but like seriously? Yeah. Good job with that. <laughs> you didn't want to score with Risei too? What's wrong with the guys? You don't want to score with the guys? Come on. Can't we give it a rest with the whole scoring thing? Why? It's a funny it's a funny word. So what if you have bad feelings with it? Get past it. Move on. Accept that part of your life, right, Yukiko? It's part of how you make personas. So accept it. And just accept it. it's a funny word. Dude, you're hollow. Taking your head off isn't gonna cool you down. But he's not, he just explained. But I just told you I'm not hollow anymore. Really? <sighs> it's too hot! I can't stand it! What would change and how would that change? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. It's so hot! Oh! What the? Much better. Now that hit the spot. I. Uh, I. Hey, Chie Chan, Yuki Chan. I. I, I mean. Tittle dick dick stick what what did double di double double da Did that happen because he came into the human world or was he like that all along? Is he always been a human and maybe he fell into the TV but had some kind of immune power that didn't make him killed by the shadows and then like he put on I and then he got a persona that let him get a I or maybe he wasn't human but he would Maybe just coming out of the TV, mate, but, but even, I, but, but, I, but, um, but, but, what? Okay. We have a human teddy now, sure. Yes? <laughs> Do you have anything to wear? I'm basically like a newborn at the moment. Oh my god. Teddy? Is that? Really, you? No, Chie, don't fall for him. You gotta fall for me. Don't let him sway you. Uh... <laughs> Although, from that voice, maybe they liked him when he was just a cute bear. Wait, did you say you're like a newborn? Then don't, don't take the bottom part off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Although, if you're like a newborn, you're a bit old. You're a bit old looking to be a newborn. Right? Come on, let's go look around. God, that's Teddy. That's weird. He said he's not hollow anymore. So, like, he grew himself a body in there? Maybe he always had a body and just lost it or forgot it. Or maybe he did grow himself a body when he came out. Maybe you need a human body. Maybe it's a prerequisite. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe he could have become a real bear. That was one thought that crossed my mind, but no. What kind of creature would do that? I mean, what is he? He's Teddy. That's what he keeps saying. <sighs> then again, this is hardly the first bizarre thing we've seen. Truth. And I gotta admit, it's probably better than him walking around in his bear suit. I suppose. Oh, hey. Weren't we gonna see about talking to Rise? Not now, please. Let me save. 
I was so shocked that I lost track of what we were talking about. Can I just save first? Let's head over to Reese's place. As for Teddy, he's with the girls, so he should be fine. Can I save first, please? Let me not cut scene now. If I cut scene now, if I cut scene now, I... You went home to change before hitting the shot. Oh, so I can save? Please save. Let me save. Let me save. If I can't save, I'm just gonna have to stop here and come back. And it's gonna piss me off. Mm -mm. It's finally the season for topsicles again. Topsicles? I mean, that's great. But this, oh my god. Do I have to do a whole another scene still? I'm gonna have to stop this prematurely, aren't I? Dude, how many are you going to eat? You're gonna get a stomach ache. I'm gonna have to see, watch this whole scene again off screen, probably. Sorry we're late. If I was gonna go home anyways, why couldn't I save? Is there really such an issue with that? How'd it take you that long to find clothes for Ted? Oh god. Whoa. I is that you, Teddy? Oh god, that's just that. Oh, uh, ooh, oh. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh gosh. Oui, monsieur. How do I look? Are you kidding me? Why would you do that? Why would you give him clothes like that? Why would you let him get clothes like that? It's like he's a child and you're spoiling him. That's just wrong. I didn't recognize you. I liked you better before. <laughs> I liked you better before. Oh, uh, that is true. Let me be honest. You lost the suit? Man, that sucks. <laughs> he did too, apparently. I mean, fuzziness was... <laughs> I know your feels, Conjure. I know your feels. Forget it. What are you looking at? <laughs> He might be gay for a bear, but he's not gay for you. I have to say, he totally blew my mind. But he's Teddy, all right. This guy had to make it a huge ordeal. Everything was new to him, so it turned into a big mess. He was so excited in the women's section that he started blabbering. You gotta stay in the men's section, though. Hey, you can't just go around doing whatever you please when you're in this form. Got it? That is truth, though, you know, uh, whenever you have animated people coming into the real world, that's one of the biggest problems. You gotta make sure you get those rules set out right away. Well, he can't help it. It's his first time in our world. Doesn't matter. You gotta, like, babies have a bunch of time to, to be drilled into their head. But when you're a baby at freaking age 16 or 18 or something, you gotta know right away. <sighs> Alright. You don't need to get all mopey like that. Now, if you do that again, Teddy, then no cookies for you. No more, um, no more pets from the girls. I never said I won't forgive you. I'm so glad. I was worried that you didn't like me anymore. <sighs> oh my god. That freaking sprite. That freaking sprite. Uh, so what? Does he lose his human form when he goes back to the TV? Or does he just keep it? Or... I definitely like the Teddy appearance more, but that's... Uh, Funky. Oh, man. If you can behave yourself, you'll be pretty cute. Hey! Hey, man. Chick, don't even think about it. Is he cute? What do you think, Kanji? <laughs> nice. Huh? What are you asking me for? Because, um, you're the by-the-way guy. Well, I was just wondering if he was your type. <laughs> oh, I get it. What you're really asking is... Will you please beat the shit out of me, Kanji? <laughs> There's that snorking. It ain't funny, Yukiko-senpai. It's a bit funny. Sorry. <laughs> Apparently she disagrees. You'll have to forgive, Yukiko. She's helpless when she gets this way. Yeah, which is good though. She had it bottled up for so long, so maybe now it's just coming out, you know, at random moments. Oh, please, everyone. Don't fight over me, baby. Oh, don't even, don't even, please, no. I don't want that. Shut up! You picking a fight with me? Oh, let's see it. Kanji versus him. They might get a bit too touchy. Jeez. Oh well. I'll say that her la laughing sprite doesn't weird me out as much as it used to. I guess I've gotten used to it. 
Yosuke handed a thousand yen bill to Kanji. Here, Kanji. Get whatever ice cream you want. Just share it with Teddy. <laughs> what? We're gonna head for the tofu shop. Wait here until we get back. Wow. You're rich. A thousand yen? That's ten dollars, buddy. I can't just take this from you. You gave him a thousand, right? Thousand ten. Maybe if it's ten thousand, that's different, but... Think of it as a welcome back party for Teddy. Just don't go around making a racket. Whoa, Yosuke, what's gotten into you? You're acting like a real senpai all of a sudden. Oh, I get it. You might say differently, but you're still nice to Teddy. I just find it weird thinking of him as Teddy. <laughs> it's only because of the voice. I'm glad Yosuke's developing into such a mature adult. Someone who doesn't let trifles bother him. No, no. Trifles still bother him, that's for sure. What? You're worrying me, Chie. Oh, now you're gonna do play that game. Oh, it's about Teddy's clothes, that's all. We didn't have the money for them, so we charged the rest to you. <laughs> ah, that's why. Charge? <laughs> you have his card? What? You put it on my account? Ah, oh, what the hell, Chie? I never said you could do that. Like, how much is it anyways? What else were we supposed to do? That stuff was expensive, even for Junette. Yeah, and you are in with them, so... You seriously charged it to me? That's right, and it cost 100,000 yen. Now that's a lot of money. You do that? You know I just bought a motorcycle. I'm broke. <laughs> well, you deserve it. You deserve all the bad things, cause you're the reason we're we're in this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's that's part of the reason I'm so mad at, at Yosuke specifically. Is he's the one who started the idea. Put every in everyone's head that police was a bad idea. So, if you're already broke, a little more debt isn't gonna make much of a difference. <laughs> Come on, baby. Stop fighting over- You stop that! You don't get that, it's creepy. Shut up! This is your fault, you know. <sighs> you listen here, Ted. You better take really, really, really good care of that. <laughs> if you put even a single tear in it, I'll make your next set of clothes out of the bear hide you took off. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Yo, Teddy, don't let it get you down. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut it here. See you guys next time.